<laughs> we are going live and we are live. Woo. I've got it locked on us. People tuning in. I don't know if they know. I just teased mystery guest is mystery. all I said. Mystery. We've been doing, of course, we're in the midst, most of you know, of a Pete shootout. Right. We did uh, March Pete Madness that led into the Pete Strikes Back. Right. A couple of people have been doing their own Pete blind Pete shootout. Keep it up fun. Our guest has their own going. Yes. Our guest has his own going with a buddy. With a buddy. Yep. And to introduce you for those that are tuning in, he's always tuning in in the chat. You guys know him as George Kaplan. George, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us where you're at. Hey, everyone. I'm uh, in Kingsport, Tennessee for work, and uh, I've been here for two weeks and Got one more week to go. So I'm traveling with a colleague from Belgium. And it's a guy that I've traveled with several times before, someone who also loves scotch. And I thought, what better way to introduce him to the dummies than to force him into a 16 feet bracket. <laughs> so uh, we've been doing this at the hotel, stretching it out over the course of our stay here. We've got our final uh, coming up tomorrow or Tuesday, we're gonna do it, so. Beautiful. Now, uh, without ruining anything, has he leaned toward, I mean, is there anything uh, that he's leaned toward or picked that surprised you guys? Well, a, a little bit. I was kind of, I wanted us to do the same ones at the same time taste. I know you guys do it random. So when you're tasting your letter A, it's, you know, might not be the same and you give notes. For me, I thought that's going to be too confusing. I wanted to to be able to. He, he gets this out of it. Am I getting the same thing? Or I'm getting, I suggest a word and he's like, oh yeah, I, I get that as well too. But he seems to like some of the ones that I've, I've picked out in my list. There's several that he has not tried before. He never had an Octomore. And the one that I think it was Octomore, which I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, he's like, oh, can, can I find this in the States? So he was really interested in that. And some of the ones that had wine finishing, he's, really seems to like different wines and uh, stuff like that. So um, he liked that quite a bit. But just the whole idea of doing it in a blind, he'd never done anything like that. So he thought it was fascinating. Right. Really two, now, two things I get, uh, first of all, fun with your whiskey. Second of all, we need to be like work buddies. Can you imagine that? You're yeah. like, oh, I got to go to work. And then you show 16 bottle chest and shoot out. I'm like, what? <laughs> this is my kind of work here. What? <laughs> That's right. Well, and you've got your bottles lined up there because really you're in the midst of yours. So you don't even know mm. where you're at or what you've advanced or anything like that yet. That's that's right. When when we talked earlier and you said, do, do I have anything, Pete, I could try? I'm like, no, I don't and then dawns me wait a minute we're doing our bracket yes i can i just don't know what it is so <laughs> I, I picked out the ones that we are advanced um we we matched on every bracket except for one we split really? so that's why you see five if you can make it out in the front row here but the ones in the back are our our big losers are which are actually winners right but uh so any one of those i can try i don't know what they are um i called out Octomore twice, uh, two, two different brackets. Did you call out a Kelpie? I called out one we didn't even have in the 16 bottle bracket. Yeah. <laughs> we had talked about it and suddenly I'm like, it's a Kelpie. You're like, it's not even in. I'm like, dang. dang. Yeah. It, it's, it's amazing though, because I, whiskeys that I thought I'd be able to pick out just like that, uh, based upon taste. I just, I can't. I just don't don't have the skills. And when we watched your your first Pete Madness, I can remember yell, Amy and I yelling at the TV. <laughs> they gotta know this Octomore. How can they not know? Mm. And then I so I'd go through it myself, and I'm like, yep, yeah, this is Octomore in the second bracket. And then in the last bracket we just did. I'm like, I think I told you wrong because I think this is the Octomore. So <laughs> yeah, it's not as easy as, as it looks. As, no. as we make it look, you know, we make no, it look it easy. Seamless. <laughs> <laughs> Kelpie. I got a Kelpie in here. I could have just called out like a bourbon in the midst of the Pete Madness. 
This is a Booker's. That would have been like, now, what? We did. I moved the microphone a little bit just to move it off of the desk. It's actually detect. So if we're knocking on the, yeah. if we're moving stuff around, hopefully it's not making as much noise. And you're making me use a and, Broncos doily. And hopefully you can still hear us. Are it's we like, coming across good? It's like a whiskey pillow. Yes. And I don't have one. I was looking around. I was like, I need one more. Yeah. Now, what we did, I had Bart, we had all the bottles over at your house. Right. Uh, from Pete Strikes Back. So I said, grab a couple that was just from bracket two and bracket three. We were going to talk about those today. So Bart brought the Kalila 12, the Talisker Distillers Edition, and the Kilhoman Mach here. Well, here's what's funny. You said grab a couple at first. And I yeah. I immediately went in and I grabbed the Mach here Bay from Kalila and I grabbed the, or, or uh, from Kilhoman and I grabbed the Kalila. And then he sent back because I, I knew it was going to happen. Dude, I didn't think I'd even pick the same ones. You're like, wait, grab a third one, make it the, the Talisker. And then you decided to tell me what other ones to bring as well. And I was like, already grabbed them. Yep. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. but we synced on that too. So, and uh, I thought we should say too, uh, our guest is also known as Amy's husband, which I will try mm -hmm. to refer as just Amy's husband. Well, let's back up and why, why explain that? Why do we call him Amy's right. husband? Uh, probably what about a year ago, we got an email from Amy. Yeah, my husband watches your show all the time. I think it's more than a year, was it? Yeah. it was probably last spring, sometime. Okay. But uh, email, you know, my husband watches your show all the time, you know, goes on and this and that. And so then, further communications, we start talking, right. and, and it's we just kept referring to Amy's husband, Amy's husband. that was it. And Everything Amy Amy's started husband. to enjoy the shenanigans going on on the show as well. Yeah. <laughs> she, she didn't appreciate uh, my whiskey habit and uh, my new hobby at first. And then I started watching you guys in the same room and uh, she was doing something on her computer. And then uh, she started laughing along. So like she's paying attention. Okay. This is, this is going in the right direction. And then she just took to it and just, you know, really well, that's an idea. Off. That's an idea because, because if, so if you have a spouse that maybe is like, I don't know about this whiskey thing, just have the dummies on in the background and maybe we'll win the spouse over. Yeah. Yeah. She, she doesn't even drink. So she, or medication she takes, she can't. So, uh, but she enjoys the uh, camaraderie and, and the banter. So the banter, yes. The, the brotherhood. <laughs> yeah. No, it's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, henceforth you were you became Amy's husband. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's perfect. Perfect. I poured a little bit of the Machier Bay just to dive into it first. And I thought I would go. Well, let's see. I started with the Talisker Distillers Edition. Bracket two. We had oh wait, that's uh that's not the right one. That's not the right one. That's not the right one. I got our notes here from yeah. uh, both shootouts. Meticulously collected. And I've got, I'm going to have to pull it up, maybe. <laughs> I don't have, I've got it on well, my Kalila phone. Kalila was bracket two. It was in bracket two. And the Machir Bay was in bracket three. Are you I sure? Yeah, I went and looked it up. I don't know okay. how they finished. Uh, okay, well, bracket two. Okay, so Wednesday's show, we had uh, Douglas Lang's Big Pete, mm -hmm. the Talisker Distillers Edition, Ardbeg Grooves and the Kalila 12. Now I advance, if you haven't watched bracket two spoiler, and bracket spoiler. three, there's spoiler alerts coming up. So you better pause but this, still go watch it and come back. It's a fun thing to watch. Yes. Even if you know where something finished. Because part of what we're doing, just to explain, this is also like wrap ups on what we're doing. We're in the midst of this big peak thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in bracket two, though, you advance Ardbeg Grooves. Right. Shocker. And I had, yeah. And I advanced <laughs> Kalila 12. Yes. So, and I think though, I, um, I don't remember if my number, I think my number two in that, I think we flip flopped. My number two was Ardbeg Grooves. We did. And was yours Kalila? Yeah. Was that the one we did? Uh, the, the yeah. Bracket two. We've been so close on these. It's actually gotten confusing because we have been pegging them pretty close. So, and I actually wasn't sure where Grooves was going to finish out. It had arrived. Matter of fact, the Kelpie was going to be in because we didn't think we were going to be able to get the Grooves. And then we were able to get it. So Kelpie's out, Grooves is in. And and uh, and I'd only had a chance to even sip it once, I think, before we even started the brackets. And the rest is history. Yes. 
Now, is are you the shootout that you're in, George? Is that I know the first one we did, the uh, March Pete Madness. You had, I think, all of those bottles. Is that the one that you're in the midst of? Not, not all of them, but I had several of them. So I let's see. I'll, I'll call the picture here and show. Uh, so these are the ones. If that comes through, that I'm going through right now. So I try to keep it 46% ABV and above. Different types of peat, different regions even there's some highlands in there um but um this is all the stuff i had the only one i didn't have i had a, a sample of keith uh Malta, Malta man cave had sent me a long row sample of the peated of the pinot noir and i just i absolutely loved it when i first yeah. tried it it reminded me the first time i had lagavulin 16 and that's really what kind of started my we my almost peat, had that uh, long my road. first dip in the peat pool i guess but uh um, so I picked up one more bottle and then had them all poured out, ready to go. And so, uh, Big Pete, I think we both eliminated that one pretty easily once we got into the tasting of, yeah. of that bracket. Anyway, it was the worst performer. Not that it's bad. One hundred percent right. It just uh, it it was it was pretty easy to segregate out. Hmm. And I think it went up against, I'm pretty sure. I didn't know what it was, but right. I mean, I was just like, eh. And it came in, it's a weaker strength too. I know it's uh, the the Christmas edition was cash strength, but what was that, 43? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah it's lower. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was up against Talisker Distillers Edition, and the Talisker beat it out pretty easy mm -hmm. for me. Um, or, well, it was either that or the Khalil, I don't remember now. And we intentionally wanted to have a blended in there. From, I mean, yeah. So we'd had, you know, we had a compass box. We wanted a Douglas Lang in there as well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of want to do the same thing as well to have the I had the Flaming Heart and then the Pete Monster Ten Year that I really like. So just to have a variety. Right. And just real quick, uh, to those those that are just tuning in or weren't here at the start, joining us is George Kaplan. A lot of you guys know him from the chats. A uh, great supporter of ours, a uh, great follower, always commenting, always uh, watching the videos. Uh, one of our Patreon supporters as well. Couple wonderful care packages with maybe we'll show some chips at some point. Yep. And George had started his own 16 bottle blind bourbon shootout. So as we were recapping, we thought, let's see if what George is doing on Sunday afternoon, if he feels like uh, joining. Right. So he's traveling. Uh, he's not at home with uh, Amy. He's well to us. He's Amy's husband. Right. He's not at home with Amy. Right. And she said she commented a little bit ago. There's a cheap sale on whiskey at their Ooh. house oh. this weekend. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, she's been threatening uh, my brother-in-law come by to visit, and she was threatening to give away all my bottles. So <laughs> <laughs> come home. home soon, otherwise there's a whiskey yard sale going on. That's right. <laughs> so. What did you guys think of the Machir Bay? Like, did, how how long has that bottle been open? When you guys, it has not out? been open that long. However, before the tasting, before the blind tasting portion of the show started, I uh, really like the Machir Bay. Um, Kilhoman's doing a good job all the way around, and I even thought, you know, I've, after being, I was surprised by the if you haven't, for those that haven't seen the very first. 16 March Madness Peach Shootout. I picked the Kill Home and Cast Strength overall as my number one. That surprised me. I actually thought the McCure Bay um, was going to stand out to my palate as well. And uh, again, for those that have uh, seen that portion of the show, I picked a, a different bottle uh, over it. So I, I really do enjoy it. But there's something to be said too, what we're learning here. Um, it's a, it's a very unique animal to have so many of these peats together because I, I find I enjoy, I could probably say, well, there's only one which I stand out. I didn't like too much. Can we say the name of that? Do sure. We care? Okay. Yeah. The the Beaumore. I wasn't a big fan of Beaumore in general. It's just not, doesn't fit my palate. Nothing against Beaumore. It's just not my palate. And in, in these shootouts we've been doing, it matched that I, I didn't really enjoy it there as well. 
what is very, very interesting for me on a learning scale here is um, standing next to each other, some of these peats, it, it's how strong they are. Some of the subtleties will drift away. Like the look gorm, um, by itself, I enjoy it. In a group with other peats, I didn't. Right. Mm -hmm. So Well, and what we did, we did have several new bottles, but they were open before, and we, we poured – at least four we poured the four ounce sample bottles mm -hmm. we uh or we had a couple drinks i brought mm -hmm. some samples home some two ounce and some four ounce sample bottles we left them open uh for several hours just to get some air and oxidize so i mean were had they received the proper amount of oxidation i don't know and and maybe that's what happened with the lope gorm as well i i agree with you i think on its own when you have it and we've reviewed it before it's been a while it comes across very good, but it was just in the grouping that it was in. It came it, off more sour. It was more really sour. And fishy. Mm -hmm. And we even, last Sunday, we did a live stream and we, we pulled it out again, and yep. it was still had those notes. Yep. But, but then I kept sampling it throughout the show, by the, and it kept warming up and getting spicier and different things, and more of the savory notes came out. I don't, yeah, I, I would say it just got sweeter. More of the more of the the, the me, sherry yeah, influence. I picked up a spicy richness. In the, so I don't know. For me, I'll probably be puzzling that out for another six months because that that was one of my big surprises. That okay, some things may not pair in the peat family neck next to each other, but off on their own, it had a whole different character that Lot Gorm did. Well, the reason I asked about the Mocker Bay, that was one of the early on in my whiskey journey, was one of my first, it's my first kill home and I had ordered from Whiskey Exchange, I think, when I got, uh, I think I was getting the Lagavulin Distillers, 1995, I got that for my my son, the year of his birth, to, to crack open when he graduates from, from school. But um, I was so excited, ILA, Farm Distillery, everything they, they stand for, I was like, yes, this is great, I cracked it open tried it and I was like, oh, I don't <laughs> like this. It had that that sour, almost like people talk about baby vomit. And I was like, I was getting that. And I was like, oh, this is a big mistake. But that bottle, the more time went on, by the end of the bottle, I was like, oh, this is so good. I, I just from from one end of the spectrum to the other, it was that that bottle it was that for me and taught me a lot about how Whiskey can change over time, give it a little air and everything. So I, I really enjoyed it. Look yeah. at uh, Bart. Can you see? Can you see Nathan Redmond's comment up there? No, I can't really read the comments. He says he's somewhat surprised Bart hasn't picked out more Lafroigs in these shootouts. Oh, me too. He thought Lafroig was a favorite. It is. It is. It was. And I would say it hasn't changed. Is something I like to sip on. I really still like the citrusy, peaty Lafroig. But my goodness, um, it is uh, real clear that I'm a big Ardbeg guy, a lot bigger than I thought. I always lean Lefroy, but I went out, uh, the bottle we had, the, the 10 I bought, uh, I, had, uh, I have and have had a Corey Brecken. And for the show, I'd also bought the Oogie Doll for the very first deal, and I am thrilled. Uh, of course, the Grooves has come in, but... Um, yeah, you will see me. You're an Arbeck fanboy. There you go. Look at that. You know, there's a board game designer I'm kind of semi-friends with, kind of like an author of a book, but for board games. And it was funny. I ran a tasting in Dallas once, and uh, most people were shying away from an Ardbeg 10 I brought down. And uh, this guy was digging it. I was surprised, and he whipped his shirt up and added the giant A was tattooed on his arm. <laughs> So he said for him, the difference was trying some of the, the subtler bottles I had brought because he was, he was Ardbeg only all the time. So yeah. Interesting. Well, and it's in here, I'm drinking the Machier Bay and it's, I mean, it's very enjoyable mm -hmm. on its own. It didn't do well in the bracket that we had it in, but I mean, it's still, you know, there's some salt to it. There's some peat, there's some citrus. I don't think it did terrible though. No, if I remember no. either. Right. Huh? Right. It, it's such a hard thing though, because it's, it's all random. How, how do you stack these up and then picking out which one do you advance? Because I, I saw that in the last bracket we had, one that 
maybe it's Octomore. I don't know. We'll find out uh, later this week. But um, if you'd asked me before, I said, yeah, Octomore's for me, it, it's going to advance for sure. And I knew what I think is Octomore, but I consciously didn't advance it because there was something else that just had more of a transition. And it was just, it was giving me more than just that immediate peak punch. I love Octomore, but it was, you know, it's almost like a one trick pony kind of, or this was, ah, oh, starts off with Pete and it's changes and transitions into sweet. And it was just really nice. So hundred percent. Yeah. I, I was, again, I would say so far the big, you know, in our, in our whiskey journey as we're walking down this path, the big takeaway I've gotten from this is that group together i've never never you know usually i'll finish off a night with a peat you know uh we've done a few little mini family peat shootouts with lafroy in the yard bag but having such a vast array of 16 having them all blind and different the big big takeaway was that the the peat was as the baseline kind of slid away and it was multiple underlayings that started to come forward and uh and that was i think i don't want to speak for you it was stunning to you as well yeah 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 well i don't i you know i don't i, I wouldn't say i had a favorite peed or anything like that going into it I, I i didn't know what expectations i know the uh actually with the first shootout our big uh, dark cove was kind of a favorite going in and i had hoped it would do well and it did uh, the second one, I mean, like I say, I don't, I, I didn't really have too many expectations. Your palate, I think, is uh, mine's come along. I think oh, yours yeah, is still you're there. Hard. The way we're picking things out, right? That, I mean, that, I don't get the 1920s <laughs> saloon, you know, with the hand, the handbag carried on the back of the mule through the Grand Canyon. No, rub with Bar rods, after a rainstorm, <laughs> right? You know. I, but 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 you're the one that had the mudded flowers where yeah you, I mean but that to me that's the experiential uh, you know when I described the pirate ship on fire and then what it really was was an old wood and the creosote and the tar and the and the salt spray kind of thing and so it took me visually to what I literally saw was like a an old pirate ship that was on fire so um i know that's alliteration but but i it really kind of took me there too or you know a beautiful open prairie and then here come atvs or bigfoot or whatever and well let's see the the whiskey thief and and thanks for tuning in i haven't seen you tune in before he's asking about lechag was it ever in the running and let's see that was a big 10. I remember on the nose, we both picked up, and you picked it, we both picked up good sweetness with it. Yeah. I think I advanced it over Kilhoman, Makir. Well, I don't remember. I don't. Um, it's hard to tell. Yes, I had it in Kilhoman. I advanced it over it, but you didn't. You took the Kilhoman over it, although you were getting a lot of sweetness with the Leche. Right. You really liked it. You called it a, a sherry sweetness. Yeah. And I think I even did too, but I don't think it is sherry influence. And had but, you talked to me before we shot, I really like the Lecheg 10. I really, really do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think, again, had you sat down with me and said, hey, you know, what do you think? I would have, I think I would have thought it would have moved further along as well. Le Lecheg 10 was like, like your uh, Balvini ton. That's the, that's the bottle I, uh, we had one dram out of it. We went on a bike ride and mm -hmm. I had it in my backpack. And I went to get off my bike and I just was leaning down just a little bit. Next thing I know, glass. Oh. And we were on a wooden deck thing, like a, a bridge, and there's all my leche on the ground. Oh. So, yeah. Brutal. That's, yeah brutal. And you could could you smell that peatiness? Yeah. I mean, we we I was with my brother in law and we just we laughed about it because I was at first I was obviously, you know, upset and really sore about it, but I was like, well, at least the people walking by on this path now will get a nice uh Yeah. Yeah, there'll be a, a Pete fan walk by and go, Oh my god, I smell Pete. Hunter band in the park. <laughs> Tom R Tom R is asking if the four by four was a diesel that was plowing through the tulip field, <laughs> and I would say yes. 
I don't know about a diesel. You yeah, did say you had Bigfoot. This, you it's had like the, a big monster the truck. smoke of the oil burning okay, okay. and the flowers. <laughs> and then the uh, rubber tire. Blind Whiskey Reviews. Thanks for tuning in, John. He wants to know what's the best readily available bottle of Ardbeg. Ardbeg 10 is Ardbeg phenomenal. 10. Yeah. yeah, you can't. You can't, can't go beat wrong. It. it did very well in yeah. the first shootout. It's fifty bucks. Yeah, it's, if it's, it's everywhere. Time, if it's Christmas time, it's one of the best values because they usually have a gift set. That's where I got these glasses, or you get the small little uh, minis, the Corvecan and Ugadol, which for the same price as you would get a regular bottle of ten. Yep, yep, and you know even that that cool little like Rick House can they put it in this last yeah. season. And that sits on the back of my uh, back of my bar. We need a little cowbell. Yep. Hold on just a second. Got it. He's typing. So, oh, see, I'm so far away, I can't even see who. Now I can see oh. who gave it. <laughs> wow. well, I like that vacation over soon. Yeah. Vacation. Yeah, yeah. She's calling you. <laughs> uh, thank you, Amy. That's Great amazing. shirts, Scott. Oh, yeah. Uh, so let's talk shirts. This is oh, one of the new yeah. ones we've got up. They are available at scotchdestdummies.com. We have a U.S. shop and a U.K. shop now. Mm -hmm. We did have to take a design down, the Android head. We had some uh, printing problems. Three people have bought it. We've identified two of them. Right. If you're the third person, send us a picture. If your color is off the same as ours, we'll get you a new one on the way. So, um, well... I've got it. Should we show them? Do it. What happened? Yeah, sure. So it basically some of the uh, the three D ish looking depth of the elements didn't come through, and it ended up looking like its face has been stripped off. Yeah, we've got a dummy with uh, no eyes and no mouth. <laughs> He's a mute dummy. So I know uh, got to well, be a collector's item for that. Those three individuals. Dan Daniel Whiskey <laughs> Throttle bought one. I know Claire bought one, and the third person we're trying to identify. So if it's right. you, send us an email. Yep. Little, I don't want ten emails coming in. Yeah, there will be somebody sneaking it in. <laughs> ah, it was me. <laughs> it was Billy. Hmm. <laughs> It'll be a collector's item one day. Well, and that's, well, yeah, we that might be a here. giveaway during the uh, twelve hours of boom. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, the, we'll uh, sign that. The one with the with the difficulties. Yes. Uh, go Habs wants to know if your shirt is also for sale. Um, uh, it's not for sale. It's a, it's a unique. Actually, well, if you watch any of my quick hitters, I think I've had the first quick hitter come out where I'm wearing this red uh, long sleeve shirt underneath the sport coat. And, it, and it, then I like the color transition so much, the next two quick hitters you're going to see also featuring this shirt. We have them all here, all of our shirts. Yeah, so let's get some let's new shirts. Show them. Are we going to do that now? Yeah, yeah. we're doing that now. So a little show bit of a quick since we're on the shirts. Yeah. Uh, a new uh, design for Love the Pete. And you can't quite see it there, but there's some small print in there. Uh, we had to blow it up a little bit, make it a little bit bigger, but there's some names of uh, Pete Distilleries that are in there uh, amongst the letters, if you can see it. And then some of our stuff as well, the Scotch Test Dummies is in there, Test It, Scotch Gods. You know, we like never that. did that. Test It! Now it's pretty good. <laughs> uh, Bart came up with this design. Actually, someone suggested it. Right. From his Y Be Normal shirt. And I said, that's a T-shirt. They were just Rye saying. Be normal. Yeah, they were saying, Rye Be Normal. I said, that needs to be on a shirt. Became and then. We also put in there a bunch of, in the small print, uh, the names of a bunch of different rye whiskeys. I love the rye. I go uh, uh, scotch. Yeah, I go scotch, then rye. Uh, we did the Android head, which went, now, okay, so we updated the Android head. We, we made some modifications to it so it'll print better. Got it. We've ordered that so we can visually check it first before we repost it to the website. Because sure. we don't want more people ordering it right. and not having it right. Right. So there's still some so, work, but yeah. this is the helmet. Then the Spartan helmet right. mashup. And they also, they all have, well, and then I'm wearing one that's just got, if you notice on all of them, we put our little, what we're calling our stamp of approval, the Scotch Test Dummy stamp of approval. See, you can also get just that on a shirt, which I like. That's my that's favorite. Actually. I actually think, well, I'll hold it. I have an idea <laughs> on that, but we're going to hold that. 
And then a, uh, a modification to the Scotch Test Dummies Glen Cairn. So it's got a thin blue line running through it and uh, a stamp of approval on it as well. Boom. Now, somebody did say that uh, uh, we, we push a lot of merch. Here's the deal. You don't have to buy any merch, but nope. it does help us. So, yeah, we will push it on occasion. That's probably the reason we're still going. <laughs> it is. Our whole goal, though, is if we come up with good stuff that you like and it ties in with stuff that we like, uh, like the Pete stuff or the rye stuff, um, then good. All purposes align. So, and, and it's it's like a community too. I mean, if like I, I've been wearing this hat on the weekends, of course, during work, I couldn't support you guys as much as I you know normal. But uh, you never know when you're going to run into somebody that's like, oh, recognize and hey, you watch Scott Smith dummies. Yep, and that is our goal. We we've, we've talked that someday, someday we'll be walking through an airport and someone will have on. The Android or the Spartan helmet or one of the shirts, and we'll be like, "Ah, oh, it's got this!" And it'll yeah. be a, a a link up. It'll be a live link up. So yeah, that's one of our wishes. Even this morning, I went to, to church with a colleague, and Amy will have to look away. But uh, <laughs> uh, twelve hours of boom. I don't know if you guys see that. Oh no, that's the big the bourbon the bourbon shootout shirt we have. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't even know which one I got on. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> That was limited too. Didn't that only run when uh -huh. we did that? Yeah. Shootout? yeah. And we didn't sell that many of those. Yeah. So. There's a buyer. Um, so no, thank you. If you do, we do yeah. have, we do have some merchandise, but we're also, um, you know, people want it. We're selling it. Yeah. So we're just trying to keep it fun. It's all about yeah. the fun. And but, it does help us. Patreon is a big, uh, big source for us. Well, I love the rye and, and we even talked about it. There's not, Probably we figure that might be a lower seller, but I like the rye be normal. The whole idea that you're a little bit different, a little bit odd if you dig the rye that much. I was surprised the peat shirts are one of the, our bigger sellers. There's a lot of super peat fans that want to shout it and declare it to all those that see it. So, all right, I've poured the uh, Let's Kalila see. 12. I've been pouring the Talisker Distillers Edition, and someone had asked, this is a twenty the 2015 edition. I had figured it was a 2017 edition. Mm. It's a 2015. And actually, this had gone on sale here. Normally, this is like $90 to $100, and it was like $65 mm. or something like that, which was a great buy. And I don't know if they vary it from year to year, but this is double matured in Amoroso cask wood for a richer rounded flavor nice i don't know what uh, i'm drinking right now but uh i may have made a mistake because this is really really good <laughs> <laughs> so that you're saying that's one of the samples been eliminated. This is, that, that's two, been, two three or four so yeah well that's just it with the 16 bottles you oh, get you they're, they're all good bottles yeah, you can't go wrong i mean maybe you have one or two that are subpar but, or, or just not to your palate again the yeah the bow more not to my palate I actually was wondering if if it would do better completely blind. And that was interesting when it didn't. You know, I mean, that was something where I was like, wow. Because I, I thought, well, maybe there was a, you know, who knows, maybe I had a bias or something. But when it, when it still didn't fit my palate. And we try to work toward that, just being honest to our palates. Uh, yeah. Two, sentence? Well, yeah, I think so. Uh, <laughs> two things real quick. Drammer 71. Thanks for tuning in. Haven't seen you before. He recently got cast cask three coin 150. Mm. And I think that's probably from the Pete shootout. Yeah. One of the brackets that should be a recent one. Uh, go Habs wants to know, or he wants a blow up doll of us. Oh my. Or you. Wow. Maybe it's just of you. I don't know if you can handle it. <laughs> it's a lot of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> it'd be hairy yeah it is. and talking all the time yeah it like, is a constant shut it would, it. you would never be able to turn it off shut it <laughs> shut up shutting up <laughs> enough with the board games say again i said enough with the board games boy. yeah 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 <laughs> it'd be like uh have you played ticket to ride so the, dis the Talisker Distillers Edition coming up after the Kilhome and Machir Bay, definitely sweeter, mm. richer. I'm getting some lovely leather and tobacco subtleties off the Kalila. Very nice. Mm. Now you talked about what you thought was the Octomore, George. Has there been any that you have pinned down and you're like, I know what this one is for sure? 
well, my, my first time I tried to do a blind tasting with a, with another coworker friend from Massachusetts, I was supposed to be the whiskey expert and I failed miserably. So for me to try to predict anything <laughs> would be uh, foolish, but I still will. Here we go. Um, <laughs> Uh, Long row Malbec. Mm -hmm. I just absolutely love that. So I think I picked that one out and I've advanced that one. Mm. Um, and I would hope that I advanced our bag dark cove, but I'm going through these. I had the list. I had the picture because my, my colleague, he, a lot of these he had not tried just so I could describe what I think they are and what he might pick up. And we were looking at the picture, looking at the list, the different ABV. And I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You just can't <laughs> tell. Cowbell. Oh, hey! More cowbell. Always more cowbell. Donate, uh, don uh, Super chat came in from Stephen Connor. Thank you very much. Loving the Pete shootout guys. Ooh, thank now, you. Uh, Tom R is the first to ask. Uh, he saw something in the background. Uh, so good we eyes, did, Tom R. Good eyes. Good eyes. We did March Pete Madness. Right. Sixteen bottle Pete shootout. We did. We had a lot of suggestions come in. Hey, you guys forgot about this. Yep. You didn't include this one. What about this whiskey? A lot of fun. That has led to the second sixteen bottle Pete shootout. The Pete titled "The Pete Strikes Back." Bam! All law Star Wars. We are going to take the best bottles from each bracket. Good, good phrasing. And actually, yeah, because actually, when we looked at it, we've got nine from bracket one and right. seven from yes. uh, the Pete Strikes Back. So we've—it's not just but, an elite eight from each, right? Because we had some heavy hitters that, did. Did, that stood out and did did better in the first one. But right. anyway. That's leading to a third 16 bottle, which we will are nuts. literally be the best of the best of the best. Right. And it is in it's titled Make America Peed It Again. again. Thanks to DH Silve 2, who's Good in here commenting. Call. Yeah. And so we've had <laughs> some right. bumper bumper stickers made up. Yes. Pete, make America Peed It yes. Again. It's, it's a presidential race when not in presidential season. But it's so, for the Pete, baby, for the when, Pete. That's right. When that when that shootout starts, those will be available. That's right. At scotchtestdummies.com. It's all about the Pete. We've Label got up. some cool stuff that we won't even show you yet related to that. Yeah. Th yeah, there's more stuff coming Cause, too. Because we're dumbifying it. We're having fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there'll be some more little neat things that will kind of associate with it. But, yes, yeah, so it'll be very much – presidential would you say is that right yeah good and tom r got the best of the best of the best reference <laughs> men in black you guys don't even know what you're volunteering for here. <laughs> the, best of the, best of the best sir <laughs> <laughs> well done and you know, i want to go back again and say once again I need to go on a, a business trip with Amy's husband because yet another friend from a whole different area, whiskified. Yeah. Yep. You never know what, what you'll connect with people in different parts of the world. So oh, you're you're right. I've been to a few trainings where I've been in different locales, and someone will say Scotch, and then as soon as the break comes up, I'm like, "Hello, hey, hey." Immediate friends, because you know what you're doing as soon as uh, the day is done. You're going to have a little bit of whiskey together. Yeah. Now, and, and DH Silva is in here tuning in. Um, I think we'll get a little uh, package together for him just for uh, coming up for the naming rights wow. of that for us. Wow. That's a good idea. Yeah. Off the cuff. Yep. Sure. Sure. <laughs> you have the idea. Make America peed it again. <laughs> What? What was the comment? My eyes are old. I can't read that good. No, he says uh, the most presidential. So presidential, it'll be boring. Mm. Negative. Mm -mm. No, we'll uh, yeah, we'll have to riff on that a little bit while we're doing it too. Let's and move maybe, on. Maybe um, I'll encroach on you while you're talking or something. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Like, <laughs> a, like a debate, like a presidential debate. Oh, all right. You no. guys are doing your. You're going to do a third Pete right, even right after this, or are you going to break it up and do something else? We're going it, in. It'll be a couple. It'll, it, I mean, we've got a couple single yeah. episodes to shoot. Already filmed. Yeah. We've got to get in. Yeah, the and then uh, will be another Pete. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We got an ice maker thing we got to do. Uh, 
Thanks to Chris Oaks. Keep up the great shows. Thank Oaks. you, Chris. And I'm pretty Thank sure I've you. seen you tune in occasionally. I'm not. I'm not as familiar with the Oaks. I'm going to call them the Oaks. I got to say, I, I love the Pete. So that, that that's just perfect for me. I know a lot of people have been calling for a sherry whiskey uh, bracket. So are you guys still thinking about doing that? Oh yeah, I could see us redoing this kind of thing we're doing now. Maybe next year with sherry. Next year. Oh, hey, never mind. Apparently, here Scott's blowing me away with this because early on it was like, "No, Pete, no." Uh, uh, and then we do the we do the Pete shootout. He's like, "You got to design it, and put it together." I put it together. He's like, "Boom! I'm loving this. Let's do another one." I'm like, "What?" It was like, <laughs> yeah, it was like all of a sudden he was way on board. And then he's like, "We're gonna do the thing against the thing, and then we'll do the thing, and we'll do a third one." I'm like, "God, that!" I was like, "Woo!" Just, I know that's what surprised me because I thought, okay, one one sixteen bracket for Bart. Now we're gonna have a sherry one for Scott. Yes, yeah, that's exactly what I well, thought. Well, and then you we were just like, had Whoa. we were kind of we were rolling. Uh, people were digging it. You know, views we, are good. It, it, we the had experience. Fun. Yeah, the experience. We still had several bottles. You know, to do another right. one, and so it's like let's just let's, let's roll let's right back roll into with it. it. Look at this. Now it's starting to come in. Look at that. We got another. <laughs> Ring that bell, baby. It's the first time the bell's been in the sky. I'm house. sure my wife is upstairs. Oh, going, she's like, what in the, the hell is going, going on down, down there? there. <laughs> <laughs> well, who was that? Um, Drammer 71. Yo. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Now, does that mean he's now, the 71st Drammer or is he an old guy? Drammer says, old I'm, I'm betting he was born in 71. Bam. Good year. Now, I, I'm 70. Same. Uh, Mark Wilson is tuning in. And I think he just commented on a video earlier today, but he says he's heard Johnny Walker black is mostly Kalila. Anyone know if this is true? Ooh. They do use Kalila. I know the green label is a lot of Kalila, Talisker, um, Crag and Moore. Oh, yeah. Love the Crag and The black probably has some of the same components. Someone will but break it down in the comments. I know the black label, they use, there's like 50 different whiskeys in the black label. Wow. There's a lot. There's a blend. Yeah. Well, I think that helps with the consistency, though. You know, if they get a certain, sure, you know, cask or something that's a little off, it can be sure. masked a little bit better. I haven't been enjoying the much. black as much, but I still do like the green. And you know, when the the green kind of went away or was rumored to go away, and then in our region mm -hmm. it came back, but the bottles were a little bit different. That was everywhere. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They 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 quit making it. And for I bought about a case a of the green when it showed up. When I was it came like, back. yeah, I came in. I got how much of this you got? We got a lot. You're case shy now because I'm buying a case. Now, how much of that do you still have? Most of it? I think I have half of it. Well, yeah. no, I probably have a little bit more than that. I do I like the green. used the Colila as well in a lot of their blends. So Who? Compass Box. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Compass Box as well, too. Yeah. It's solid. It is solid and it is good. And has the distinction of being our very first bottle and our 100th bottle to reveal. I was surprised I picked that one out in that bracket. Uh, um, it's always kind of come off as a, a milder peat, you mm -hmm. know, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, the sweetness of it, though, with the peat would really come out to me. Um, I have to go back and watch just really to see what you said as you were going through the four bottles of that bracket. Well, that's the other thing that's been fun about this as well, because we don't know when we're filming. We have no idea what it is. Even once we've wrapped, we don't know what they are until we literally get all the way done and then expose that. And I will go back and watch the shows myself, which honestly, I don't go back and watch our shows. Usually half time I've edited it anyway. So I've seen it again, but with these Scott's been doing the editing and he throws those names up there. And that's the first time I'm even able to critique. Oh, so glass B had such and such in it. And it's very, Mm -hmm. intriguing to me to go just see what I was getting. That too is a unique experience, even as a reviewer. So. Well, I'm going to make another bold prediction here. I just randomly picked out from bracket two D, which I thought was Octomore in bracket two, but now I'm calling it Lefroy 10 cast drink. Wow. 
that's quite a difference there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It just shows you how refined my palate is. That's it. Well, you're probably hitting it right on now, though. That's what happens. Uh, Tom R. is asking if we've tried the monkey shoulder peated version. Mm. We have not. Mm -hmm. uh, just the, the regular monkey shoulder uh, blend. The $30 bottle that you see in most places. That's um, really, that's the only one we have around here. I know they've had a couple it. of different yeah. editions around. I actually picked that up when I was in a, uh, I was in a business trip in Chicago and I grabbed a monkey shoulder. Mm. So uh, I like Go Habs has a great shirt idea. Next shirt idea. He says the power of the peak compels you. Oh, that's from good. the exorcist. Wow. Uh, Rich, Richie Z wants an 18 year or a 12 year Scott shootout. Oh, the 12 year Scott shootout would be a lot that cheaper. Be, yeah. Well, we'll start with that. <laughs> we'll start with that and then move to the 18. And then maybe if we get big enough, we can do a 21. <laughs> Hoyt Hemphill liked the uh, pirate ship notes. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> I've taken a lot of flack from some people over here and a few over there where you guys are at too, but not, not, not too much. I did like that with bracket one of this one as you got to go on. Like, oh. oh my God, here we go. Oh, again. it's like you had a tick mark ready. Like, like oh, uh, hold on a minute. Oh, captain description. <laughs> That's the fun of it though. Again, it was the fun of it. Tom R. If we are in Chicago, we are definitely giving you a holler. Oh yeah. We've talked about it. I've now, got a brother there. I th and I think one of the, uh, um, do, who's somebody from the Scotch four dummies is coming to uh, Chicago soon. I think he was going to really? get with you. I don't remember who it was. One of them. Mm. So did you pour another one there, George, or you got the same one? Same one. I, I'm still nursing the, the uh, Lafroy 10 cast strength, what I think it is. But uh, now, what's with those little the little art bag glasses? Well, that, that was in the, those were the. Well, cool I, you know, you guys did the blind, and I saw all you had done the plasti dip on on the glasses, and I thought, oh man, that's a great idea. I'm going to try that myself, and I I did some like that myself. But even though the Glen Cairns I have, I'd have to have eight of them to and pack them in a suitcase to bring on for a three trip these glasses were much smaller they're already dark green so you can't really see the color of the of the juice right and the sample bottles i, I ordered green ones so that i couldn't see as well too nice um, it helped kind of help me be blind if you will love it be blind now, did you talk about, I know earlier we talked about your workmate you had that you've been doing this with. From Belgium. Did you did you touch on, though, that you invited him in here as well today to join us, but he was a little camera shy? Yeah, I, I, I tried to talk him into it. He's uh, His English is, is perfect. It's better than mine, to be honest. So uh, that wouldn't have been an issue. But he's like, what am I going to say about whiskey? I'm like, you've got plenty to say, but... <laughs> Anyway, so he, he was a little camera shy, I guess. But Well, that's fun. It's he funny. I, I was with him when I had my first immersion into Pete. Um, and that was, I, I tell people, my first Pete was Lagavulin 16. We were at a dinner after work. We had just completed a project, and we were out with our manager and another coworker. And for um, for dessert, our manager ordered a Lagavulin 16. And when he... I brought it and set it at the table. I was like, what is that? I could just smell it. And I'm like, that that smells good. He's like, here, you want to try it? So I tried it and he said, order you one. So I ordered one. Wow. I had that taste in my mouth for the next like two or three hours and I was just loving it. So right from the instant, I loved it. I know some people try Pete for the first time and didn't like it and had to grow on it, had it grow on them. For me, I loved it right from the start. First of all, yeah, yeah that I'm happened gonna... here. For a, for for a third time, I love what you're doing because your manager <laughs> buys Lagavulin in sixteen and says, "Get another one." I'm like, I like that guy. Yeah. <laughs> Next time you see him, you got to tell him dummies love you. Yeah. So uh, Tosh Tosh Doan Seven is asking, "What's your thoughts on Compass Boxes push over to Box Whiskey Swedish to change its name?" I don't know anything about that. Yeah, fill us in. Does it have to change its name for the Swedish market to just box whiskey? Yeah, I, I don't know. I haven't heard I anything haven't on that. Yeah, I think they're on the Scotch Ford Dummies, one of their uh, live streams, they were talking about that. I It's the first time I'd heard about it. I thought I'm going to go look it up, and then I never did. But 
Was that when they had? Uh, is it? Yeah, I think it's Pete. Yeah. yeah, Pete. Pete. Yeah. That's interesting. I didn't know about that. Huh. Uh, speaking of Compass Box, you're kind of. I'm a Compass. Well, we both are. I've got a few bottles up here. You're I've big been, though. You're I've big. been uh, gathering for a while. Yeah. Uh, same with you, George. You picked up a few, I think, and they're and are keeping a good. Uh, I, I hate to use the word collection, but uh, yeah. No collection. Well, I, I probably have more of a, a collector gene, like like you, Scott. I would think um, Amy would say a hoarder gene. <laughs> but anyway, I, I like to get different bottles. I I'm slow at opening opening them. I I like to share whiskey with people, so that's um, that's where some of my whiskey goes instead of me drinking because Amy keeps me in check there only a few drams a, a week, but, but yeah, I love compass box and anytime to have something that I know I like, like uh, I've been looking out for the new hedonism muse. So I, I just have been promised one. So um, I know I'm going to get one of those. So that, that I'm happy about that. Sweet. I bet you Tom Mars has got some of that gold stuff. Gold, gold standard. Gold standard. Speaking of Tom R. Speaking of Tom R. Thank you, Tom R. Super Chad Cowbell. Scott, do you think you'll get a bottle of Balvany 12 year double wood 25th anniversary? I haven't seen it. Um, I I bet I would. Is it is it limited? Is it gonna be something that's hard to find? And I'll tell you, if that was a 12 year double wood cast strength, 25th mm. anniversary, mm. wouldn't that be good? Mm. You uh, say cast strength, I'm on board. Mark Wilson is saying he he his understanding is that Box Whiskey is a different company than Compass Box, and they had to change their name. And I think they actually made boxes or something. That's how they got got that name. So it was it was really kind of I don't know. Yeah, you think Box Whiskey, for, but yeah. apparently they decided they would change their name. Wow, that's far enough away from Compass Box. You wouldn't think it'd be a problem, right? And Amy is calling you a hoarder with an exclamation mark. <laughs> Love you, dear. <laughs> collector, collector. <laughs> By the way, she already knows, but my suitcase is going to be coming back with four bottles. So Woo. I found a store with some, some dusty uh, bottles here and needing a new home. So Nice. Well, so yeah, you found, uh, you had been looking. You had always hoped you would find a bottle of the Lynx mm. from Brook Lottie. Damn, right. I had a shot at that too. I went there, they had three of these. And then I took my uh, co worker back, and then he bought one just like this as well, too. Um, but yeah, I, I never thought I would see one. And then this one I hadn't even heard of the 16 year, I think it's from 2010. That looks good. Yeah, here, let me lock the camera on you. Yeah, so. sorry, I started whistling. First growth series, eighteen fifty-five. Grand, what classic? First grand crew. This is where I needed my my uh, partner from Belgium. He can speak French and Dutch and you know several languages, so he could have. Where's Swami? Where's Swami when yeah. we need him? Yeah. Yeah, very nice. We've never seen that one either. Mm -hmm. And then I had a chance at the Lynx and I didn't get it because I bought one of their other ones. Lemorangi Finalta. Yeah, that was a few years. That's a, is that the 2014? This is, I think, the second private edition. So I'm not sure what year it came out. But Wow, you did find a little treasure trove. And then this one I was probably most excited about. And then after uh, I um, was uh, chatting with, with Keith, multi-man cave, he's like, I think the older ones aren't as good as the newer ones. I'm like, what? <laughs> Why didn't you tell me that earlier? <laughs> uh, an older bottle of bottling of the Queen Lee's 14. Leash. Well, who knows? You might like it. Packaging. It's still the 46%, but. It looks good. That's a good haul. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Jason Jason Whiskey Wise just says that the Finalta is 2011. Mm. Okay. Wow. You found like a little hole in the wall or something? Well, everywhere, if I have to travel, I'll just pop in just to see what they have. Because I live in Michigan, as I, I've said before in, in comments. 
and it's a regulated state. So you don't always find the stuff that people are talking about and, and trying. So you, you feel a little frustrated. You have to buy it and find a place that will ship it in or a buddy that will, will get it for you or get it when you're traveling. Sure. So I always pop into a place and I thought I'm in the Bible belt here. So I thought maybe I'll luck out and find some scotches that people haven't bought because they're not buying scotches. If they're buying something, maybe they're buying bourbon. And um, I went to go look it up a uh, liquor store and in my list, it come up package store I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm in the Bible belt. They can't call it a liquor store. Huh. So, but anyway, uh, so, yeah, I found this one package store, went in and was just blown away. Wow. Wow. So I'm just pouring a little bit of the Kalila. It's the last of my three here from our mm, shootout. Kalila's good. The Kalila 12. This was our, we, we touched on this, our very first review that me and you ever did. Right. Scotch Test Dummies point one <laughs> was Kalila 12. That's right. And it was it the second yeah that's the second bracket that I uh, I advanced that and one, it did so. well and you were just sitting here sipping on it and you said that's good that I is good it. that is good I keep going back to it I decided it would be my last um, that I tried in this row and boy is that tasty you guys ever thought about doing a a final live and reveal live for one of your brackets the only, well the only problem would be us. We we couldn't know what we were tasting, so how could we put it up for yeah. the viewers yeah, that's that's to true. know? That's um, true. Uh, yeah, actually, I had we, brought we that could, up. Yeah, and we could the, do it. We could. Or well, it'd be it'd be somewhere we would have to move through, and then re before we did the reveal. Well, yeah, well, I, 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 I know editing, what we could do. Editing, I know what we could do. We could put it out to say, well, say Roy. We okay. could give him the the master key. Mm. He could decipher it to what we were tasting and let everybody know that was watching. And then we didn't. Mm -hmm. We didn't watch the comments. Yeah, and then so we yeah we wouldn't be able to watch that the comments. We could well, and then have uh, somebody sending well, us. Here's good something questions. we talked about. We like this. It's a lot of work doing all sixteen bottles and and mixing uh, and not mixing by blend, you know labeling them so we don't know. We've talked about just doing a one off of four. So we would literally have four bottles. We know that it's these four, so we could even have the four bottles up. But we wouldn't know what samples were we had. And then that way it would be just a quick little one-off. Am I talking too hmm. much? No, oh, I wasn't sure what keep was going, going on. Just showing it while oh, you was talking. Gotcha. So we've talked about doing that just because they are fun to do. And it might be something where we're able to put a little, a little mix thing together that's not quite as grandiose. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it'd be tough to, to pull off like that. I, I just thought it would be really kind of kind of fun for the fans to, to be live and see you guys seeing it for the first time too. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I, I think that would be. And who knows, the way like live tech and the links link ups are going, it, there might be a point where Roy's literally behind the scenes putting stuff up mm -hmm. on the screen that we can't see or something. So yeah, th there could be some cool stuff. Uh, Sirachi a Ace is asking when does bracket four get posted? That'll be Wednesday. And then next Saturday will be the, the championship. Finals. Yeah. And then probably. Bracket four weeks. has got something funny that you'll enjoy too. There's a, there was a mishap. Oh Yeah. That's all I'll say. There was a mishap. Um, <laughs> Jason Whiskey Wise is that is pointing out that Brook Lottie 16 year that you got in the 10. Mm -hmm. The first growth series are very highly collectible as they're all wow. Italian wine finishes. Ooh. And some people in the UK are paying almost 200 pounds a bottle. Oh, you shouldn't have told me that. Now I'll never open it. <laughs> <laughs> My horror gene is kicking in. Yeah, prank call. That wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> you can find those any day of the week. Good stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, we're getting ready. Uh, we've got our um, the fundraiser that we're going to do for the food bank. That's coming up. Yeah, we do need to hash yeah. that out what right. we can for sure. We will yep. do that. That'll be in May. That's with the Edmonton Scotch Club. Right. Yep. That's, that'll be a fun deal. That'll be the first time that as we – 
gather super chats, all that money will go toward um, a food bank, a charity right in our area. So um, we were talking to Mark Gillespie about that. The Edmonton guys were on his show. So uh, that'll be fun. So, cause we've talked about doing something to give back um, before. And that was a neat one. And they reached out to us and we were like, yeah. So you guys then, uh, do a lot of stuff with the community, get recognized because of your show and. Yeah. Do we yet? Yeah. Not yet. No. Oh no, Are not locally. Yet? No. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, we keep it a little low key locally. Yeah. yeah. So, um, we're about three or four years out yeah. from really. Uh, we um, we got to. We're in the witness protection. Yeah, program. the big message yeah. is drink responsibly, and and uh, luckily our boss, could we say, is he's at least knowledgeable. Well, he's very knowledgeable of social media and that kind of thing. Uh, we were under old management. Email was new tech. <laughs> so, so we were, we were way outliers in terms of that. So, uh, yeah, we were a little more cautious, Yeah, but, uh, but that's just uh, more on that in a couple of years. I think, oh, it'll, I, just, I think it's great. You guys doing that with food bank that that's going to be great. Yeah. I think that'll be, that'll be cool. And we've talked about a couple of other charities too, that uh, we may support. It'll, it's something we've got to talk about here. Yeah. So, um, or nonprofits maybe would be the way to phrase it, but yeah, that's fun. And then, um, July 7th, Saturday, July 7th is, uh, going to be a 12 hours of boom. Second annual 12 hours of boom. That's right. The second annual. So we'll have, uh, Shakes Pennington will be on scene on guitar. Cousin Shane will be here. Uh, we're talking about having, uh, Whiskey Scout, if he can make it somebody that'll actually watch the comments so that Scott can focus more on the show and, uh, and, and really you pull want me to out. focus more on the show. Well, you, you were pulling double duty. So it was kind of hard to catch all the comments coming in. So, but, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Uh, we've got a couple of fun things going on there and we'll have some, uh, unique things for that show as well can we show the chips because i kind of want to have a chip you want uh we got some red hot chips oh, from michigan Lordy. somebody knows my weakness and we got some uh, salt and vinegar hello chips from michigan yeah michigan care package look at that someone watching's from michigan yeah somebody just somebody from somewhere michigan wise hold on look at the crinkle i can do a whole show on chips okay <laughs> I just get chips from around the country. Look at that whiskey in the six. Rob just tuned in. He's at his niece's communion. Just thought he'd say hello. You have to go to the bathroom and link up. <laughs> he's in the bathroom right now. Well, he's at a communion. I doubt he's out in the. Yeah, maybe he went to like the coat closet. Maybe, yeah, he's closet. Come out of the closet, Rob. <laughs> yeah, just come out. It'd be everybody knows you got that beard. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get the comments going, baby. <laughs> Great chips. Only Michigan can make chips like Ooh. this. Yes, the Kalila is very nice, very mm. sweet, very vanilla. Could almost be confused for that Lagavulin 2017, probably. Yeah, those are Amy's favorite, Bart. Me and Amy agree. Or is it Amy and I? No, I think it's me and Amy. We agree. Mm, these are good. <laughs> Scott makes fun. You get food anywhere near me in a show, and I can't stop eating. It's just, it's the only way to keep me quiet, quite honestly. I don't know if that works. <laughs> oh, look at, uh, I don't know if I can pronounce it right. And this is the first I've seen. Murad, Murad Bali wow. is watching from Zimbabwe. Whoa, there we go. Zimbabwe. I don't, in ever, the house. I don't ever remember seeing anybody from Zimbabwe tuning in, but thank you. That's awesome. Must be because of our guest, George Kaplan. Bam. We are big in India. Amy and I, Dram Dude points out. Amy and I. All right. <coughs> All right. 
Well, let's, uh, I think we can wrap it up. Thanks to everybody that tuned in. We've had a lot of people, a lot of comments, a lot of uh, good conversations going on. Woo. Stay tuned. Wednesday will be bracket four. Right. Now, are we filming tomorrow? Yes. A couple anyway. Although I do have a guy coming over to look at the internet. We, we've had some struggles with our impromptu internet, and I'd upped. Place. Yeah, and I'd upped the speed. So I called him. I said, hey, I'm paying for an even faster connection. And it ain't but working. I feel like it's gotten worse. And they said, well, everything looks fine. And I told them there's something. They're bringing a tech out tomorrow. Oh. And it's one of those deals from 8 to 10. I'm to be available. So as long as we start recording after 10, we should be good to go. But we will try to get that if, worked on. So there could be a live stream tomorrow, an impromptu, maybe. We should be good to go. Those That's have been coming in about out. noon to one, somewhere right. in there. Yeah, because I'm like, come on, man. Just because we were on uh, some, some merchandising good earlier. Good chips. Before we leave, <laughs> for those that are still here, I've been wanting rocks glasses. Tumblers. Oh, show this. Yeah. Those mm -hmm. that follow us on Instagram and Twitter have seen. I'm a little anti rocks glass. I don't use them. I'm going to use these. But uh, so we had uh, this is just a teaser. Well, really, not a teaser, but what a design we are working on. This is a sample that was sent to us. I like how this, it's shadowed. This is actually a, is, is a not laser etched, but it's sand blast etched. And it's actually etched 3D depth into the glass. Bart hasn't seen it. Ooh. But you told I, me the sand was better. Yeah. I had him send a, a laser etching. And the sand blast. I'll just let Bart see it for the first time. The difference. Oh, sand, baby. I know. Yeah, the Isn't laser awesome? barely shows up. It costs more, but it is um, oh, yeah. head and shoulders above the laser. Oh, actually. that is way better. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, you, you should have just told me that in the email. Why even send samples? Just say yeah. the sand etching is better. Yeah, the sand is phenomenal. Yeah. Good call there. Yeah, those are cool glasses. We've, and the thing is, that's more, more for me. I've been wanting rocks glasses. Not anymore. But we've also had a lot of people say, when are you getting rocks glasses? So they will be sold in pairs. They come in a box of two, I, I believe, 90%. Um, I think we can go either way with them from the original email. We can either sell singles or pairs. Uh, but I think you pairs that sounded is, dirty at first. What? I wasn't Which sure part? when you said we can go either way. I wasn't you sure go where either you were way. headed. <laughs> Just keeping it dummy <laughs> style, baby. I'm glad you kept working on the sentence. Oh, Octava Vite is here. He must have just tuned in. I haven't seen him yet. Hey, Roy, thanks for tuning in. It's a chip show, Roy. It's all about the chips. Uh, hopefully, within a few within a few weeks, uh, Rock's glasses will be up. Now, the same company that we're working. These are made in the USA. Uh, they're very nice glasses. They do have a warranty as well, which we're hashing out. We're looking at shots glasses. I did not know about the warranty. Shots glasses as well. Really? So but maybe we're anti be, shots, but there'll be some. To look we at. are about enhancing your bar experience. We well, want some if you have a bar, we want <laughs> Scotch test dummy stuff everywhere on it. <laughs> By the way, Amy, I, I bet you could drink your tea out of those glasses too. Ooh, look at that, Amy. That's a tea glass. That would be. A uh, very nice tea glass. You that. know what I need? What? I need, to what put, do you I need? To put a little Coke in there? What are you doing? Oh, show it. For show it. If it'll show a little bit better. There we go. That's good. Look at that. Mm. So. I look good with tea, Amy. Stay tuned. Of course, we'll blast that out when those <laughs> become available. So. Blast that out. Sand blasted. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Should I scotch it? Uh, are you ready? Any comments? You George, close off? out on your end there. Let everybody know uh, those that are tuning in late. He's usually with us in the comments. He's tuning in. He's watching. Yeah, Ooh. thanks, guys. I, I really appreciate you having me on. It's been a real treat um, uh, for me, and I'm sure Amy at home. Uh, I'm away on work, as we said at the beginning, so she's anxious for me to get back home. But uh, doing my 16, my humble 16 blind peat bracket here, uh, following suit here, it's been a lot of fun uh, watching you guys and, and trying to replicate what you guys do and realizing how uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but, uh, it's still fun. No, play with your whiskey. Play with your whiskey. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, well, Roy just figured out who the guest was. He says, holy 
Snarkies. The guest. <laughs> <laughs> well, and Roy, we had been, because of the 16 bottle blind shootouts, uh, George has been doing his own 16 bottle blind shootout. So we with got a with buddy him. From Belgium. With a buddy, a work buddy. Yeah. So they're doing their own. They haven't finished yet, so they don't know what's what they're advancing or what's what they've chosen. So Octomore has been selected twice. Yeah, <laughs> yes. This is the Octomore right That's here. Octomore, I know it. You've done that a few times. Oh yeah. I'm like, no, we don't even have the Octomore right, in this one. Right, Kelpie. Kelpie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, well, thank you, George, for jo joining us. Stay on yeah, the line here. We're going to close it out and uh, have a dram with you. Thanks to everybody that's tuned in. Thanks for all the super chats. And scotch it, you scotch gods. Slancha, dummies. Woo, these chips are getting hot. <laughs>